All right, so in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about conversion factors and how to use them. Okay, so the basic idea uh, when working with conversion factors is that we're given some unit, and we want to convert that unit. We're going to rewrite it, but it, we're going to rewrite it in terms of a different unit. I call it the desired unit, and we're going to use the conversion factor. Now, in the conversion factor, we're going to divide by the given unit, and we're going to multiply by the desired unit. Your given units will cancel, and your final answer will yield, will carry the desired unit. So a couple of tips on working with conversion factors. First, um, conversion factors are always made using two equivalent quantities. Uh, this is equivalent this word is equivalent, it kind of ran off the page a little bit, but yeah, two equivalent quantities. So if, if the quantities in your conversion factor aren't equivalent, then that's not a conversion factor. So keep that in mind. The next tip is that problems may require more than one step. Um, this happens a lot. Uh, I think in the two examples that I'm going to show you even, um, in both of those situations, we're going to have to carry out the problem in more than one step, which is going to require more than one conversion factor. The next tip, and this is a big one, is to avoid doing them in your head. Um, a lot of students sort of pride themselves on their mental math and ability to solve problems really fast in their head, but I would advise against doing this. And the reason why is because one day you'll be taking a test and your mental math will fail you. I mean, it's bound to happen at some point or another. And it might be a problem that you got wrong that, you know, if you would have written everything out and, you know, wrote down all your units and canceled out all your units that you needed to, you know, maybe you, it would have gone the other way. Maybe you would have gotten that problem correct. So, you know, it could be the difference between a B or an A. Who knows? So the idea is that you want to do them fast, but you want to work with writing them down, you know, writing everything down and canceling everything enough, you want to practice that enough so that you're adept enough at it, so that you're fast enough at it to where time won't even really be an issue. The next tip is when you're raising units to a power, you want to raise both the number and the unit to the power. And I'll explain a little more on that later. The second example uh, that I'm going to use actually, uh, actually has this scenario in it. And the last tip is to check your answer. Always check your answer. For example, if you end up, if you start out with, I don't know, say, you know, liters, that's your unit, and you want to convert that to milliliters. Well, you know that milliliters is a much, much smaller unit than liters, so your answer in milliliters should be much, much larger. If it isn't, then you know there's been a problem. You see how that works? So always check your answer to see if it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you know, go back and write it out again and see if you can, you know, figure out where it is that you messed up. Okay, so let's move on to the examples. Okay, so in this example we have 1.76 yards, and we want to convert that to centimeters. Now, when they give you, a lot of times they'll give you tables with common conversion factors and stuff like that on them. One of the common conversion factors is definitely not going to be from yards to centimeters. So, we can't go directly from yards to centimeters, but we can go, the idea is that, you know, there, maybe there's something in the middle that we can go to. So if we go from yards to something to centimeters, maybe that's a more feasible approach. And it turns out that it is a feasible approach because we can actually, using these two relationships here, 1.094 yards is equal to one meter and one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, we can convert from yards to meters and then to centimeters and that will ultimately lead us to our answer. So let's do it. We have 1.76 yards and so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the conversion factor. Our yards are going to be on the bottom and our meters are going to be on top. And using the equivalent relationship between the two, it says that one meter is equal to 
1.094 yards. But we're not done yet, right? Because we still have to convert to centimeters. So we're going to set up another conversion factor. Only this time, meters are going to be on the bottom. That's the unit we're canceling. And then the desired unit, the unit that we want, is centimeters, right? So, well, what do we know about the relationship between centimeters to meters? We know that 100 centimeters are in one meter. And before you punch everything into the calculator, make sure that your units cancel. As you can see, yards cancel here and then meters cancel up here. So we're left with nothing but centimeters, which is good. The, the final result, if you put into a calculator, is going to be 161 dot centimeters. And the reason why I included this dot is because, remember, when we're doing calculations, we need to carry, we need, our final result needs to have the correct number of significant figures. So these are all multiplication division, these four values are exact, so they have an infinite number of significant figures, and this value has three significant figures. So our final result is going to have three significant figures. So this is the correct, 100% correct answer. Next one's a little bit trickier, but we'll get through it. And it says 5.70 liters. We want to convert that into cubic inches. So what we're going to do is, like in the other one, we're going to devise a plan to get from one to the other. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going from liters to milliliters to cubic centimeters and then finally to cubic inches. And how did I know that? Well, you know, there's really no clear-cut answer on that. Sometimes you just have to intuitively figure it out using relationships that you know. Um, but that, that's just something that comes with practice. Okay. So if we write out our conversion factor, it's going to be 5.70 liters. That's what we're starting out with. We're going to get liters on the bottom. We're going to get milliliters on the top. And there are 1,000 milliliters to 1 liter. Another conversion factor is going to be from milliliters to cubic centimeters. And we know that one, cent one cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. And finally, we're going to convert from cubic centimeters to cubic inches. And this is where it becomes tricky because this, is in in this involves units raised to a power. Now, we don't know any clear-cut uh, conversion from cubic centimeters to cubic inches. We don't know how many cubic centimeters are in a cubic inch and vice versa. But what we do know is the relationship of the units without being raised to a power. We know that 2.54 centimeters is equal to 1 inch. So it turns out that if we put those two in the conversion factor and cube them, then our result will be accurate. So centimeters on the bottom inches on top, we know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, but now we have to cube both of them. Whoops, I put the parentheses in the wrong place. It should have been over here. Remember, you want to cube the unit and the number. And if we put that into a calculator with the correct number of significant figures, before I go further, make sure your units cancel. Liters cancel, milliliters cancel, cubic centimeters cancel, and we're left with nothing but inches, cubic inches. So our final answer is 348 dot cubic inches, because this value has the fewest number of significant figures with three. So this is doing it with the correct number of significant figures. So. You know, there's really, you just got to practice. I mean, that's all there is to it. So, but definitely write them out every time. Try, like I said, try to avoid doing them in your head. And uh, good luck.